the Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Ed Hoddle, head coach of the football team. And, Coach, you guys head up to Widener after your bye week and have a pretty darn good performance. Yeah, you know, we talked uh, with the staff and we talked with the guys yesterday, probably one of the most significant team wins in, in our program history. Uh, it's not often that you're able to score in all three phases of the game, and we were able to do that. And, uh, you know, fortunate that we got some timely big plays and, you know, we were able to put some distance between us and them, uh, you know, which, which makes play calling and decision making a little bit easier for us. So really proud of the guys, you know, coming out and, and playing at the level they did and, you know, coming away with a good team win. And you talk about those timely plays. We get the first career or first punt return for a touchdown in school history and then back-to-back pick sixes on the defense. The guys are hungry for the ball. Yeah, it was uh, it was a neat experience for Preston and, and the other ten guys on the punt return unit to, to, you know, to get the first one in school history. We've come close a couple of different occasions. Um, you know, and, and it kind of brings me back a little bit to, you know, the first – year or two or three of the program where you know there were so many firsts you know mm-hmm. the, the first touchdown the first fumble recovery the first interception and you know and and still kind of having that one out there and and being able to kind of put a check mark by that was was pretty exciting and then you know to get the the back to back pick sixes um that's pretty special you, you know i i don't remember in my career of ever seeing back to back you know, interception returns for a touchdown, and that was um, that was pretty neat to see. And, and our guys getting a chance to be excited, you know, in, in a big spot on the road. Yeah, those guys are just so excited any time the ball's in the air. They're all hunting it down. It seems like. Yeah, you know, again, that's that's the culture that, that Coach Johnson's built in the secondary, and um, you know, one that's that's exciting for us. Uh, you know, I, I get excited when the ball's in the air because you know you're, you're waiting to see. You know who's going to come up with it. So, but again, it, it, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of film study. It, mm-hmm. It's being blessed to have some exceptional athletes back there, um, and and the culture that they've been able to build over the last several years here. It's an exciting thing to watch. And on the offensive side of the ball, another strong day from Daniel Williams. Yeah, Dan was solid all day. Um, you know, I, I think you know you, you see Dan's progression. You see him growing up. You know, within the scheme and and growing up as a quarterback and knowing that. You know, after this year, he's going to be here for another two. Is certainly very, very exciting. I think probably the, one of the coolest things that happened to the quarterback position on Saturday was Steve Shanley. You mm-hmm. know, there are three plays where Steve comes in and makes exceptional reads and throws three exceptional passes. Um, you know, Dan had come out. He, he, you know, he had a little bit of an injury. Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve comes off the bench, goes three for three for 47 yards. You know, he converts a third and 20. And we're down at that point, 14 to seven. Uh, field position wasn't great, and for him to be able to go out there and convert, you know, was was pretty exceptional. And I really believe, and I've said this probably 15 times since the end of the game, that was a really, really key possession for us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, looking at the possibility of going down a second score, um, you know, and having to bring the you know the backup quarterback in, and you know, Steve really did a solid job in a tough spot. And I think at that particular position, you know, that's pretty remarkable to have a guy come off the bench with 15 seconds notice and go three for three for 47 yards. Absolutely. That's something to be very excited about, not just in, you know, being able to have that drive and then, you know, having that depth as well. Yep. You know, depth across the board, it seems Absolutely. like. Absolutely. And now talking a little bit more about the excitement that keeps on rolling, the homecoming on Saturday. Probably one of the biggest crowds we'll see ever um, in the history of, of the program so far. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting atmosphere. Um you know, I, I know the tailgates will be in full swing probably well before 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, having the opportunity to, to, to play in front of so many home fans is, is always special. Um, you know, our, our folks here do just an outstanding job from a game day atmosphere perspective. Um, they're, they're loud. Um, they're professional. They understand what it is that they're mm-hmm. watching. It's a very, very smart football crowd. Mm-hmm. Uh, our students are awesome. You, you know, I can't wait to see, you know, what, what what kind of, you know, cool things. that You know, I look out at our last home game and I see a giant McMahon, uh, uh, Subi head and a McCann <laughs> head, and yeah. I'm like, where do those come from? Right, you, you yeah. know, so I, I think it's it's really creative, and I think you know our our fan base here is really bought into you know a, a game day experience, which you know from a from a coach and a player perspective is is certainly very exciting to see. And you know we're hoping they come out and in, enforce, and we're hoping that they're as, as, as loud as they have been historically. We love to see that type of support at all of our you know games and events. And football is one of the biggest ones that we have on campus. It's going to be great to see. 
what types of things do you guys need to focus on internally uh, that you've maybe had to fix from the past week or uh, from the beginning half of the season to you know get that W again on Saturday? Well, I think on a whole, you know, we looked at our evaluation of, of what happened on Saturday, and I think we were a little bit rusty coming mm-hmm. out of the bye week, a little bit more rusty than what I would have expected us to be. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so I think again, it's it, it's that internal focus. It's looking at what we what we did and did not do on Saturday that that could have, could affect the outcome of the game this week, and working as hard as we can, you know, to correct those mistakes. I, you know, I think there are some key areas that we identified in our meeting yesterday. Mm-hmm. You know, for our guys to to really work, and and we've challenged them to to really elevate their level of play, and, 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 and I think we've done that almost every week, and I think we've got to take another step forward. Mm-hmm. And, and, and much like you know, much like anything in life, you know, the, the more you pay attention to the details, the more successful you're going to be. And I think as we're getting into you know, game number seven, you, know, you have to focus even harder on the details. It's a little bit of extra film work. It's a little bit of extra focus in practice. You know, because as we go through the next four weeks, you know, every week is going to be a, a huge Absolutely. challenge for us. Yep. Well, Coach, good luck in that focus, and we are looking forward to seeing you guys out on Saturday with a big crowd on hand. Thank you very much. He's Ed Hoddle. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner.